Okay, you guys, this next class is a strength and conditioning class using your dumbbells. I hope you guys enjoy it. Okay, guys, for this segment, let's grab some dumbbells. Now, ladies, uh, three kilograms, four kilograms, or five kilograms, depending on your strength, would be ideal for these programs. Um, fellas, let's work. Let's start at around about five kilograms. If you're a little bit stronger, seven and a halves, nines, twelve and a halves. You certainly don't want to go over 15 kilogram weights with this one because you won't be able to finish the, the program. Okay guys, we're going to start to warm up. We're going to warm up just bending forward, working some uppercuts. Now what I'm going to do to get my legs involved as well, you can see I'm going up and down with it. Okay, just like that. Let's just start to warm up together. Let's go for a minute. Let's keep working through those. A little bit of a bounce. I want to start to get my quadriceps involved. You can see I'm keeping my elbows tucked right in. So really trying to warm everything up, get some blood flowing. Get ready for some action. And 15 seconds. Keep throwing those uppercuts out. Five more. Four. Three. Two. One. And relax. Right, guys, just another warm-up exercise. So we're going to go into a very light squat, come up into a light shoulder press. So you can see they're very light. It's not a full range movement, just a warm-up technique. We just want to get the blood flowing. So straight up, straight down. Now as you start to warm up, we can start to increase the range a little bit. So you can see I'm going deeper on those squats now as I'm warming up. Five more, four more, three more, two more. Okay, I think we're ready to start. Okay guys, Hindu push-ups for this next exercise. Um, there's a few different ways of doing this, but I'm gonna show you how I want you to do it today. Um, we're gonna go 45 degrees with the dumbbells. I'm gonna place my hands on them and I'm gonna get a stance Basically, my thumb's riding high on this one. My heels start off on the floor like this, okay? I'm gonna duck under. I'm gonna push right up and go back to my starting position right here. One more, just like that, and straight back. Let's get you guys to try this one. Okay guys, let's get into it. I'm gonna do this one with you. Let's go. So you can see it's a snake roll all the way up here and then pushing right back until my heels are on the ground. Keeping my knees nice and straight for this one. So I'm getting a good hamstring stretch back here as well. I'm gonna feel it in the calves as well. Just like that. So under the fence, right up pushing right back until you can really feel your calf stretching. We've got three more. Two more. One last one, fight through it with me. And we're done. Okay guys, we're gonna work a torso twist from a push-up or a plank position, if you like, just from here. Now what I'm gonna do, shoulder width on the arms and on the legs, um, nice, sturdy, straight line from my shoulder to my ankle. And what I'm gonna do from here is I'm gonna twist up 180 degrees right there and drop back down. Let's try the other side. What I want you guys to focus on is my toes. Have a look at my toes. As I twist, I'm still staying on my toes. Okay, I'm not doing this, I'm not dropping to the side. Staying on my toes. And right there, your turn. Okay, let's get into it guys, go. So 
you guys can see Ben is twisting up and having a look at his hand as he does. So that's going to make sure you hit the right mark. Now we're making sure we're keeping a nice straight body through this one. And just focusing on Ben's toes, you can see that he's shuffling from side to side, but he's remaining on his toes. He's not allowing his heels to touch the ground. Let's keep working through those. Now I want you guys to go at your own pace and I want you to make sure you're maintaining your form throughout this exercise. Keep working. So we've got about 10 seconds left on this one. We've got to keep that plank in place to make sure the body's nice and still. No snake roll at all on this one. One last repetition. And we're done, perfect. Weighted donkey kicks for this next exercise, guys. Watch how I do it. So I'm gonna set up by placing a dumbbell just behind my knee like that. I'm gonna lock it in place. I'm gonna go into my four points position, just like that, okay? Neutral spine, and you can see everything's shoulder width, nice and comfortable, ready to go. And from here, I'm gonna lift straight up into a straight line. So I want a straight line from my shoulder all the way to my knee. I'm gonna bring it back, not touch the floor. Lift again. One more repetition. And then we're gonna switch legs and work the other side as well. Your turn. Okay, let's get into those, Sarah. So you guys can see a perfectly balanced four-point position. So you can see vertical lines through the legs and through the arms as well. Um, Sarah has her hands in front of her. Um, if that's how you're comfortable, then that's fine. If you want to change the angle, that's okay. It's not about the upper body. It's all about the hamstring and the glutes. Now, you just got to make sure your heel remains as close to your bum as possible. You want to try and keep the weight locked in place the whole time. Um, the other thing you want to be conscious of is we want to try and hit that line every time. You want 180 degrees. Perfect, right there. Now we've got four more reps on this side, Sarah. That's one, two, three, one more. Perfect. Now I'm going to help you out. We're going to change the weight over and pop it on the other side. Lock it in place and go. range of movement, go at your own pace and just make sure the moving knee doesn't touch the floor. Now as you start to tire, you're going to start to shorten your movement range, so we want to make sure we're not doing that. We want to make sure you're going up all the way, squeeze with your glutes, squeeze with your hamstrings, squeeze with your lower back and get that full range of motion happening. Perfect, let's keep it going. We've got five more reps on this side. Two more. And you're done, have a rest. Okay guys, get ready for action. We're gonna repeat the last three exercises. Okay guys, let's get into it. I'm gonna do this one with you, let's go. So you can see it's a snake roll all the way up here and then pushing right back until my heels are on the ground. Keeping my knees nice and straight for this one. So I'm getting a good hamstring stretch back here as well. I'm gonna feel it in the calves as well. Just like that. So under the fence, right up, pushing right back until you can really feel your calves stretching. We've got three more, two more, one last one, fight through it with me, and we're done. Okay, let's get into it guys, go. So you guys can see Ben is twisting up and having a look at his hand as he does. So that's going to make sure you hit the right mark. 
Now we're making sure we're keeping a nice straight body through this one. And just focusing on Ben's toes, you can see that he's shuffling from side to side, but he's remaining on his toes. He's not allowing his heels to touch the ground. Let's keep working through those. Now I want you guys to go at your own pace, and I want you to make sure you're maintaining your form throughout this exercise. Keep working. We've got about 10 seconds left on this one. Got to keep that plank in place to make sure the body's nice and still. No snake roll at all on this one. One last repetition. And we're done. Perfect. Okay, let's get into those, Sarah. So you guys can see a perfectly balanced four-point position. So you can see vertical lines through the legs and through the arms as well. Um, Sarah has her hands in front of her. Um, if that's how you're comfortable, then that's fine. If you want to change the angle, that's okay. It's not about the upper body. It's all about the hamstring and the glutes. Now you just got to make sure your heel remains as close to your bum as possible. You want to try and keep the weight locked in place the whole time. Um, the other thing you want to be conscious of is we want to try and hit that line every time. You want 180 degrees. Perfect, right there. Now we've got four more reps on this side, Sarah. That's one, two, three, one more. Perfect. Now I'm going to help you out. We're going to change the weight over and pop it on the other side. Lock it in place and go. range of movement, go at your own pace and just make sure the moving knee doesn't touch the floor. Now as you start to tire, you're going to start to shorten your movement range, so we want to make sure we're not doing that. We want to make sure you're going up all the way, squeeze with your glutes, squeeze with your hamstrings, squeeze with your lower back and get that full range of motion happening. Perfect, let's keep it going. We've got five more reps on this side. Two more. And you're done. Have a rest. Okay, chest flies for this next exercise. I want you guys to watch me. So from here, I'm going to press my weights together, soft straight arms, right above me, so it's a nice vertical line there. I'm going to drop out lateral movement into a T. I'm going to stop before I touch the floor. And straight back out. So you can see, I'm keeping those soft straight arms the whole way, so I'm not actually adding any bend to this movement. So, the, so I'm driving it using my chest. Your turn. Okay, let's get into it, guys. So you guys can see nice, soft, straight arms. You can see the strength is coming from the chest, not from the arms, basically. So there's no movement, there's no extra bend in those elbows. Um, a nice, steady movement, um, solid base down the bottom so we don't have to think about the feet at all. Everything's looking nice and perfect. Just wanna make sure you're exhaling, so breathing out as you're pushing that fly in. And then you wanna breathe in and reset at this point right here, perfect. Let's keep it going. Now, be conscious to make sure your elbows or your um, wrists don't touch the floor. So we just want to make sure it's your chest that's stopping you and not the floor. One last repetition. And you're done. Okay, skull crushers for the next exercise. I want you to watch me. So what I'm going to do from here, I'm going to lift in a hammer position straight up. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to separate my arms until they're shoulder width. Now, you want to make sure you've got them at shoulder width. Otherwise, on your way down, you're going to give the name of the exercise some justice. You want to make sure we're not doing that. You want to try and keep it parallel arms the whole way. Elbows are nice and still, and the movement comes from your wrist to your elbow only, just like that. Your turn. Okay, let's get into those skull crushers, guys. So 
you guys can see a beautiful vertical line. So you can see as Christina finishes up, she finishes up in a straight line. Now, elbows are at shoulder width and they're not moving. Elbows are staying stationary throughout the whole movement. And as she's dropping back, she's making sure she misses her face and just dropping out to the sides, just like that. Perfect. Let's keep working. Now, make sure you're exhaling as you're pushing up and that's going to assist you. That's going to carry the move through for you. Two more reps. One last one. Great job. You're done. All right, guys. Obliques twist for this one. So the way I'm going to do this one is I'm going to go both dumbbells pressed together like that. I'm going to twist out to one side. I'm going to stop before I touch the floor. And other side. Now, I want to make sure my top arm remains straight the whole time. So you can see the top arm doesn't have any bend in it. Just like that. Your turn. Okay, let's get into those, Christina. So you guys can see beautiful soft straight arms. You want to make sure you've got it soft straight the whole time and the power is coming from your obliques. You can see no movement below the navel. Okay, so we're keeping that nice and sturdy. It's only an oblique twist at the top. Now, there's a couple of different ways of doing this. I want you guys to watch. So if if you're doing it that way and you're having difficulty holding up two dumbbells, you can always grip this way with one. So just drop one of your dumbbells and work with just one of them. Let's keep going. So exhaling as you're twisting back up into your vertical position. We're gonna inhale as we're dropping down. One last repetition. Okay guys, get ready for action. We're going to repeat the last three exercises. Okay, let's get into it guys. So you guys can see nice soft straight arms. You can see the strength is coming from the chest, not from the arms basically. So there's no movement, there's no extra bend in those elbows. Um, a nice steady movement, um, solid base down the bottom so we don't have to think about the feet at all. Everything's looking nice and perfect. Just want to make sure you're exhaling, so breathing out as you're pushing that fly in and then you want to breathe in and reset at this point right here. Perfect. Let's keep it going. Now be conscious to make sure your elbows or your wrists don't touch the floor so we just want to make sure it's your chest that's stopping you and not the floor one last repetition and you're done okay let's get into those skull crushers guys You guys can see a beautiful vertical line. So you can see as Christina finishes up, she finishes up in a straight line. Now, elbows are at shoulder width and they're not moving. Elbows are staying stationary throughout the whole movement. And as she's dropping back, she's making sure she misses her face and just dropping out to the sides, just like that. Perfect. Let's keep working. Now, make sure you're exhaling as you're pushing up and that's going to assist you. That's going to carry the move through for you. Two more reps. One last one. Great job. You're done. Okay, let's get into those, Christina. You guys can see beautiful soft straight arms. You want to make sure 
you've got it soft straight the whole time and the power is coming from your obliques. You can see no movement below the navel. Okay, so we're keeping that nice and sturdy. It's only an oblique twist at the top. Now there's a couple of different ways of doing this. I want you guys to watch. So if, if you're doing it that way and you're having difficulty holding up two dumbbells, you can always grip this way with one. So just drop one of your dumbbells and work with just one of them. Let's keep going. So exhaling as you're twisting back up into your vertical position. We're going to inhale as we're dropping down. One last repetition. And time. Good job. Okay, guys, push-ups with a knee strike for this one. So I want you guys to watch me. I'm going to place my dumbbell at 45 degrees, shoulder width, and I'm going to go right over the top of it. Okay? I want to make sure my feet are shoulder width as well, just like that. This is a nice, stable, sturdy place to start. I'm going to drop down into my push-up. I'm going to get all the way down to my dumbbell, lift up, knee strike down the middle. And then I'm going to alternate. Your turn. Let's go, guys. Okay, so you can see Ben's holding a nice straight wrist, full elevation. So we're dropping down all the way to the dumbbell, lifting all the way back up, and keeping a straight line from your shoulder to your toe. So we're keeping that plank in, in place the whole time. And you can see, nice knee strike straight down the middle, right up the pipe. And keep them going. We've got about 15 seconds left, guys. Let's keep pushing. Two more, Ben. One last one, and we're done. Okay, guys, we're gonna do some leg curls with a single dumbbell. I want you guys to watch me set up. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna place the dumbbell behind me. I'm gonna grab it with the arch of my feet. So I'm gonna go one and two like that. And from here, I wanna make sure my knees are together. Um, just keeping my arms in a nice, comfortable spot there. I'm going to lift from here into a leg curl. Straight back down. I'm going to stop just before I touch the ground. Just like that. Now you want to make sure your knees are together and you want to squeeze your feet together as well. And that way you're not only holding the dumbbell safely, but you're also working your adductors and hamstring as well. Your turn. Okay, let's go guys. So you guys can see Sarah's knees are pressing together, so she's actually working her adductors as well. And keeping your knees together helps you press your feet together as well. So it's just going to be sturdier, it's going to be uh, more comfortable movement and no chance of dropping your dumbbell either. You can see we're getting a good range of movement, so she's going all the way to her butt and she's coming back and stopping just before she touches the floor on this side. Um, arms are in a nice comfortable position, so we don't have to worry about the upper body, just focusing on getting full range and really working the hamstrings and glutes on this one. Let's keep working. We've got 10 seconds to go. One last rep. And you're done. Okay guys, we're going to do a stiff kickback with this one, but we're going to add a front delts raise with it. So opposite arm, opposite leg, I want you to watch me. So I'm going to push up with the leg nice and straight, just like that. And at the same time, I'm going to do a front delt raise with the opposite arm, okay? So it's going to look like this. One more rep. Okay guys, let's get into it. So you guys can see beautiful form. Christina's holding vertical lines with the arms and the legs and pushing right out. Stiff leg kick over here, kick back and just working a front delt raise with the opposite arm. You can see everything staying soft straight as she's throwing it out. Controlled movement, 
This is really, really good. Um, this is a really good compound exercise because at the front, you're working your traps, you're working your shoulders as well. And at the back, we're working the hamstrings, glutes, and the lower back. So this is a nice compound version um, of this particular exercise. Let's keep working. We've got 10 seconds left on this one. One last rep. And we're done. Okay, guys, get ready for action. We're going to repeat the last three exercises. Let's go, guys. Okay, so you can see Ben's holding a nice straight wrist, full elevation. So we're dropping down all the way to the dumbbell, lifting all the way back up and keeping a straight line from your shoulder to your toes. So we're keeping that plank in, in place the whole time. And you can see, nice knee strike straight down the middle, right up the pipe. And keep them going. We've got about 15 seconds left, guys. Let's keep pushing. Two more, Ben. One last one. And we're done. Okay, let's go guys. So you guys can see Sarah's knees are pressing together. So she's actually working her adductors as well. And keeping your knees together helps you press your feet together as well. So it's just gonna be sturdier and it's gonna be uh, more comfortable movement and no chance of dropping your dumbbell either. You can see we're getting a good range of movement. So she's going all the way to her butt and she's coming back and stopping just before she touches the floor on this side. Um, arms are in a nice comfortable position so we don't have to worry about the upper body just focusing on getting full range and really working the hamstrings and glutes on this one let's keep working we've got 10 seconds to go one last rep and you're done Okay guys, let's get into it. So you guys can see beautiful form. Christina's holding vertical lines with the arms and the legs and pushing right out. Stiff leg kick over here, kick back and just working a front delt raise with the opposite arm. You can see everything staying soft straight as she's throwing it out. Controlled movement. This is really, really good. Um, this is a really good compound exercise because at the front, you're working your traps, you're working your shoulders as well. And at the back, we're working the hamstrings, glutes, and the lower back. So this is a nice compound version um, of this particular exercise. Let's keep working. We've got 10 seconds left on this one. One last rep. Pullover crunches for this next exercise, guys. We're going to work a pullover and we're going to add a crunch to it. I want you guys to watch me. So from here, hammer position, I'm pressing um, the dumbbells together. I'm going to push right up and I'm going to add a crunch at the end, just there. I'm going to stop there and work my way back. I'm going to stop before my dumbbell touches the floor. Soft, straight arms the whole time. Your turn. Okay, Christina, let's get into it. Good, so you guys can see really nice, smooth movements, crunch added at the end. The lower back's staying on the floor, so we're not turning it into a sit-up, we're keeping it as a crunch. And I'm gonna show you guys a variation. So if you're having difficulty holding two dumbbells together, you can grab the one dumbbell and you can grab side to side like that. That's another way of doing it. So if you're having difficulty with it, drop one of your dumbbells and just use the one. Let's keep working through those. And you can see Christina's adding a pause at the end, so that's gonna just add a little bit more juice to that um, crunch. If you can do that, that'll be ideal. Perfect. Nice range of motion, 
We're going all the way to the top and we're stopping just before we touch the ground. One last repetition, Christina, and you're done. Okay guys, we're gonna do a side plank for this exercise, but we're gonna add a bit of a twist to it. Watch, so I lift myself up. Now to make life a little bit harder, I'm gonna grab my dumbbell and rest it on my hip. Just gonna hold it there, so they're gonna hold for 45 seconds. Your turn. Okay guys, I'm gonna do this one with you guys. So you can see a nice straight plank over here. So what I'm doing, I'm keeping a straight line um, all the way up my body, so pretty much from my ankles all the way to my head is a straight line. I'm going to try and maintain that and you can see my arm is dropped directly underneath me, so I'm not putting too much pressure on my shoulder and just holding my weight here. Now if it gets a little bit difficult for you, you can always just drop the weight, okay? Let's keep going. We've got around 20 seconds left on this one, so let's hold that plank right up. seconds to go. Now we're going to rest, we're going to change over and do the other side as well. So drop it down and let's change over. I've changed over to the other side now. So just hitting the same plank but using um, my other oblique. So you're going to really feel this one burning up in your obliques underneath you. Okay, let's keep holding it still, hold that position. 15 seconds in, we've got about 30 seconds to go. Now you're gonna start to shake up a little bit, that's fine, nothing wrong with that. And just make sure you don't start to drop your hip. If I'm doing this, that's not really doing much. I wanna make sure I'm holding it right up the whole time. Okay, keep holding it nice and straight, fight through it. We haven't got long to go. Five seconds. And you can stretch just by dropping your hip, just like that. Okay guys, we're gonna work some rotations with a bent knee on this one. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna place the dumbbell on the outside of my knee. I'm gonna rotate right up so that my top leg gets to 12 o'clock. I'm gonna drop it back down to three o'clock again, just like that. Your turn. Okay guys, let's get into it. So a couple of important things uh, with this particular exercise. You've got to make sure your heels are close enough to your bum, okay, because we want to be able to create good range of movement. The other thing is you want to make sure your dumbbell stays outside of your knees. You don't want to start to pull it up your thigh. Um, that's going to start to reduce the resistance, so we want to make sure we're not doing that. Um, working straight up, so you can see Christina's hitting a nice 12 o'clock and working your way back. I'm going to give you a little bit of assistance with this, Christina. Let's get it all the way out here. There you go. And straight back down, touch and rest, lift again. Perfect, just like that. Let's keep working. We've got three more repetitions on this side and then we're going to change over. So be conscious of hitting that 12 o'clock every time. And change to the other side now. Okay, so we've changed over to the other side now, so we're just working the other leg. Now, you can see Christina's feet are just pinned against each other and it's just rotating one on top of the other. You don't need to actually create any movement. You don't need to lift your foot for this exercise. Um, just really working the outer glutes, um, making sure we've got plenty of resistance on it and nice steady technique. Let's keep working. We've got about 15 seconds left on this one. for three more reps. Last one. And rest. OK, 
Okay, guys, get ready for action. We're going to repeat the last three exercises. Okay, Christina, let's get into it. Good, so you guys can see really nice, smooth movements, crunch added at the end. The lower back staying on the floor, so we're not turning it into a sit-up. We're keeping it as a crunch. Now I'm going to show you guys a variation. So if you're having difficulty holding two dumbbells together, you can grab the one dumbbell and you can grab side to side like that. That's another way of doing it. So if you're having difficulty with it, drop one of your dumbbells and just use the one. Let's keep working through those. And you can see Christina's adding a pause at the end, so that's going to just add a little bit more juice to that um, crunch. If you can do that, that'll be ideal. Perfect. Nice range of motion. We're going all the way to the top and we're stopping just before we touch the ground. One last repetition, Christina. And you're done. Okay guys, I'm going to do this one with you guys. So you can see a nice straight plank over here. So what I'm doing is I'm keeping a straight line um, all the way up my body. So pretty much from my ankles all the way to my head is a straight line. I'm going to try and maintain that. And you can see my arm has dropped directly underneath me. So I'm not putting too much pressure on my shoulder and just holding my weight here. Now, if it gets a little bit difficult for you, you can always just drop the weight. Okay, let's keep going. We've got around 20 seconds left on this one. So let's Hold that plank right up. Ten seconds to go. Now we're going to rest, we're going to change over and do the other side as well. So drop it down and let's change over. I've changed over to the other side now. So just hitting the same plank, but using um, my other obliques. So you're going to really feel this one burning up in your obliques underneath you. Okay, let's keep holding it still. Hold that position. 15 seconds in, we've got about 30 seconds to go. Now you're going to start to shake up a little bit. That's fine. Nothing wrong with that. And just make sure you don't start to drop your hip. If I'm doing this, that's not really doing much. I want to make sure I'm holding it right up the whole time. Okay, keep holding it nice and straight, fight through it. We haven't got long to go. Five seconds. And you can stretch just by dropping your hip, just like that. Okay guys, let's get into it. So a couple of important things uh, with this particular exercise. You've got to make sure your heels are close enough to your bum, okay? Because we want to be able to create good range of movement. The other thing is you want to make sure your dumbbell stays outside of your knees. You don't want to start to pull it up your thigh. Um, that's going to start to reduce the resistance. So we want to make sure we're not doing that. Um, working straight up, so you can see Christina's hitting a nice 12 o'clock and working your way back. I'm going to give you a little bit of assistance with this, Christina. Let's get it all the way out here. There you go and straight back down, touch and rest, lift again. Perfect, just like that. Let's keep working. We've got three more repetitions on this side and then we're gonna change over. So be conscious of hitting that 12 o'clock every time. And change to the other side now. Okay, so we've changed over to the other side now, so we're just working the other leg. Now, you can see Christina's feet are just pinned against each other and it's just rotating one on top of the other. You don't need to actually create any movement. You don't need to lift your foot for this exercise. Um, just really working the outer glutes, um, making sure we've got plenty of resistance on it and nice steady technique. Let's keep working. We've got about 15 seconds left on this one. Let's go for three more reps.
last one. And rest. Well done, guys. You got through today's workout. Now, if you can turn your attention to your in-house instructor, he'll give you three minutes of stretching. Okay, you're finished for this class, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you could assist us by wiping down your equipment ready for next class, we'd really appreciate that. Thank you. <laughs>